It towers over you at 30 feet tall and is made from 270,000 forest green Lego and Duplo blocks. A huge yellow star graces the top of this tree that will continue to be lit throughout the 2011 holiday season. This tree was uh, took about a couple of months, month and a half with five builders. Uh, so something like Duplo is quite easy to make once they get going with a, with a plan. And this one was made over in uh, Kladno in uh, Czech Republic and then was shipped here. Though you could spend quite a bit of time examining the amazing details of a tree this size, there are a few other things to do for the holidays here at Legoland Florida. Throughout Miniland USA, if you take the time to look closely, you'll see a large number of carefully placed holiday decorations. Elves spin around in the NASA training facilities, stand in the corner of boxing rings, and can even be seen in tiny Lego fountains and on the decks of pirate ships. Santa sits in the crowd to watch a space shuttle take off from the Kennedy Space Center and stands proudly behind the governor on the steps of the Florida State Capitol. Look close enough at the Jefferson Memorial and you'll see him there as well. His sleigh and eight very tiny Lego reindeer stop in San Francisco and he even attends a performance at the Hollywood Bowl in California. Well, we're going to have a number of different uh, activities going on with extra costume characters. We're going to have Meet Santa in the Botanical Gardens. And we've also, we, we end on the, uh, with a fireworks spectacular over on the uh, beautiful Lake Eloise there on the 31st of December. Here next to waterfalls and among carefully crafted Lego deer and adorable otters, there is a Christmas celebration like no other. One where having a fake tree just might for once be better than a real one, and where even the candy gets dressed up for the holidays. Lego itself, being a toy, is brilliant for kids around this time. And only for children with small, uh, families with small children, Lego is absolutely ideal. With the extra, the fact that it's a new park, the extra things that we're adding in around town, uh, it's the only place you can really, really come if you want, if you have a Lego fanatic in your household. Come <laughs> on.